Aberdeen is one of the richest cities in the UK. Its citizens are greatly blessed. However, amongst the wealth and comforts, there are areas of great poverty where families struggle simply to survive. Children have to be fed and clothed and homes have to be furnished and heated. How can this be done if there is no money and little hope? I'm Jenny from Somebody Cares Charity. Um, I established this charity 10 years ago. I got in touch with social work who helped me enormously and through that I see people every day through all different circumstances in life. I now work with over 70 organisations uh, through doctor's practices, all different people that come to me with the people that, who are really in need. It can be from drug addiction, it can be from breakup of marriage, it can be just a young mum who's just got a baby. There is needs of every kind across the city and we are there to help with that need, to distribute free furniture, food, clothes and bric-a-brac, just whatever anybody needs to start a house again, to help them to get back on their feet again, to give them a purpose in life and to get them back on the first rung of the ladder. The reason I do this and what Somebody Cares is really all about is summed up in Mark's story. My name is Mark Edward Maitland. I've been working for Somebody Cares, driving the van, delivering furniture, collecting furniture. I was living rough sort of thing. I had to take care of him, so uh, I lived in the forest and uh, shot rabbits, uh, pigeon, pheasant, cooked them up in the wee stove at HUD. I'm fit enough to drive a van, I've still got my licence and that. And uh, Jenny was kind enough to give my job for somebody cares. She gave me a week's trial, uh, done that week's trial and uh, it was great. And my esteem was so low before that, suffering from severe depression and stuff, I was uh, suicidal just, just before I started here. But since I've started working for somebody cares, it, it's making me feel good. I'm helping people and that's helping me to help people. It makes me a little bit emotional, but I think, I think it's the right thing I'm doing. I am helping people. I'm helping Jenny, and Jenny is acknowledging that I'm helping her out a lot as well, which, is, which makes me feel good in myself. Somebody cares, they do a great job for everybody, everybody in the community. But the poor souls without anything, they come in here and they, they get the best of the furniture, as you can see if you look around the place. There's an awful lot of caring folk that give to this charity, somebody cares. And somebody cares gives it back to people who don't have anything. I mean, when I come here as an unemployed guy, uh, as I said, I, I didn't need any encouragement to work. I didn't need any skills. I had what I needed. I didn't need work experience. What I needed was something I lacked was drive. I had no drive left. I had no proactiveness left. Um, I couldn't go out and do what I want, do work just for the sake of doing it. Somebody cares has given that back to me, and because of that, I've been able to pass it on to some of the younger guys that's coming through with no training, no skills. We get them here, we train them, we get them to help with the refurbishment. And I feel that uh, somebody cares as well as helping the people of the, the city and uh, with the, the food programs coming up and uh, the furniture and the clothing. Instead of that, we've actually helped a lot of people get basic skills which they can then uh, put into their CVs, move on when they're a wee bit older and hopefully get some sort of work out of it. Hi, my name is Brian Taylor from the Somebody Cares Trust. Uh, Somebody Cares is Aberdeen's biggest and fastest growing charity, providing for the poor, the marginalised and the vulnerable people of the city. Over these last few years, we have provided food for thousands and thousands of families and individuals and pensioners. 
we have furnished thousands of homes and we've given just household goods, clothes, whatever was needed to people who are in need. Somebody Cares has been there and provides, and not just provides, Somebody Cares is now, I believe, the only organisation in Aberdeen that provides it for free. And we, our take has always been, when people are in desperate need, why, why would you charge them? How can you charge them? And so we're very proud of what we've been able to accomplish, proud of our track record. And as we go forward, we're just finding that in the city, the needs are getting bigger. There's more and more people falling into the poverty trap looking for our help. And so it's been a thrill for us to be able to respond to that. And our plan is to keep growing to meet the need. The council tell us that between 60 and 80,000 people, many of them children in Aberdeen, are now in real trouble. The Press and Journal carried an article in 2010 that spoke of 18,500 families in Aberdeen who are living on less than £50 a week. That is unbelievable in the oil capital of Europe. We in Somebody Cares are about to launch two new initiatives. The first one, the Aberdeen, the city that cares, food initiative. Uh, one of our staff came to us and said, this family, two adults, four children, haven't eaten in over a week. And you can hardly get your head around that. But the more we've looked at that, we've realised right across the city, this, this uh, problem is growing. Uh, you know, there's been food harvests that have failed all across this world. China, 1.1 million acres flooded. Australia, an area bigger than Texas, the Midwest of America, Argentina. The last one I heard was Thailand, where the rice and the barley crop failed. That has created a worldwide food shortage. Food prices have risen dramatically in the last six months, and they're going to keep going. And when you build in rocketing utility bills, uh, lack of employment, reduction in benefit systems, we're just finding families in particular good families, reliable people who are just in this desperate, desperate place in the poverty trap where they've never been before with no idea how to get out of it. And our plan at this minute in time is to help these people to begin to rise above their circumstances, to give them hope and to give them a possibility of a future because the one essential thing that needs to be taken care of is food. And so Somebody Cares has access to major quantities of food we can get 200 tonnes a month, 500 tonnes a month, whatever. And there is a cost, but it's a nominal cost. And to supplement that, our second initiative, we're going to create a community farm. And we're going to run that, and we'll use a lot of disabled people within that. We'll teach and train them how to grow potatoes and fresh veg. When we give people a food bag that will feed their family for a week, which we do already, we're going to be able to give them a bag of fresh potatoes and a bag of fresh vegetables. And we think that is fantastic. We've got a guy working on coming up with a recipe book so that they, we can teach them how to live using these ingredients really, really cheaply. And so we're pushing through on these uh, particular areas, but it's something we need the city to come with us. We can make Aberdeen absolutely unique in the land in the way it takes care of its poor and needy people. And we can become famous in the land if we can bring this together and pull it off, but to do that we need your help. We have made a commitment to the city MPs and the MSPs and to Aberdeen Council that we will find a way where every one of these families, the pensioners, the people out there who are desperately needing help will be fed by somebody who cares. But we cannot do that on our own. And the reason we've called this the Aberdeen the City That Cares Food Initiative is because we need the whole city to come with us. We need the business community, we need the church community, we need the other communities in the city to gather with us and together as we move forward on this whole thing. This is huge. The logistics of this are incredible. And we need your particularly financial support to be able to pull this off. You know, we've got schools who are coming to us and the schools are saying, please, can we help? And we've got children across this city gathering food to try and help feed some of the poorer people in the city. And so we need to push through with that, but we need even more so your help, particularly the business community. We need to raise significant funding. And we're asking for monthly donations. It could be a minimum 50 pounds a month even. Not a problem for most, for most businesses, but we really need that because the scale of this operation 
And it may well be there'll be companies we will come and ask your help just in the whole logistical side of this. But together, you know, we can change the world for many of these people. When communities come together, the world does change. And so our call to you is please come and speak to us. Come and join with us so that we can make Aberdeen famous in the land in the way that we're just looking after our own people. These are incredibly challenging days, but with your help, we can make it different for thousands and thousands of people. Thank you.